Welcome to the toss table, arguably the most coveted position in our location. Not only do you get to bust out a rush, but you get to do it on the toss table and you get to show off for your adoring fans that come in every day. Though the toss table is more than just tossing dough. It's about understanding the dough, how to manage it in your store, and how to prepare for your night's business. All keys to making a perfect pizza every time. Hello, this is Todd from the Commissary. So our busiest production days of the week are Tuesday and Wednesday to provide the three-day-old dough for Friday and Saturday business. So it's always important to check the stacks of dough that come in your store. There's a couple of reasons. For the date, depending upon the volume that the stores order, we can't always provide 100% of it to be two days old. Some of it might be one day, some of it might be three day. It's also important to check the same data dough. That dough will be a little larger in the middle of stacks that you get, so you might want to use that first and rotate that appropriately. And please remember, the dough is a living product. You will see dough that's a little different, different trays of it, different ages of it. Even dough that's the same, made on the same day, might be a little bigger, a little smaller. It's just because it's a living product, so that's the way it should be treated. Hi, I'm Bridget from the Same Point Way Pagliacci. Today we're going to talk about dough receiving, dough rotation, and dough quality. The first thing we do when we receive dough is we check all the dates. The commissary works really hard to make sure that we receive two-day-old dough every day. If there's anything besides two-day-old dough, we want to identify it so that we can properly rotate it with the dough we already have. Each dough tray has a sticker on it. Each sticker has the day of the week, the month, the day of the month, and the batch number. We use the date to make sure that dough is rotated properly. We use the batch number to provide feedback on dough quality to the commissary. When rotating dough, the 11s and 13s we receive from the commissary will often be in one stack. Our first step is to split the stack into two, going through, identifying any trays that might be out of order, putting them in order at this time, also going through each tray to ensure a consistent product. I've split my 11s and 13s into two stacks, and I've rotated my 13s from the walk-in, three-day-old 13s on top of my two-day-old 13s that I received from the commissary. I'm finishing doing the same with my 11s. Remember, these are heavy, only lift two at a time, you don't want to hurt your back. Now that I've finished rotating dough, I'm going to double check my stickers, make sure everything's in order, and get this dough back in the walk-in. This is an example of ready-to-use dough. It's three days old, it's been properly proofed, not too big, not too small. We'll get it to 65 degrees and then it's ready to toss. As you've learned in this video, you have an important role in our stores. Understanding dough, how to manage it, and the characteristics of quality dough are paramount to our success. With a little practice and the knowledge you've gained, you'll be busting out Friday rushes in no time. <laughs>